into the thrift of it into the thrift of it thrift store all summer clothes one dollar nice let's look all one dollar I thrifted this store a few months ago and I got so much good stuff and they told me to come back every Friday for sale day. I have not been back until today, so uh, I'm sure there will be tons of stuff to get here. No doubt. What is that? Hobie, made in the USA? Hmm? Single stitch, vintage? Ooh, my guy. Single stitch, vintage. I don't know the year on it. Let's see. There's no year. It is really cracked. But we'll take it. What else is here? Hi, how hey. are you? Good, how are you today? Great. You awesome. Some more clothes, right, on that? All right. Hi. These are ladies on this side, correct? I try, but some people will mix them up. I got you, okay. Yeah, no worries. Pretty sure this is a stolen cart. That's a food lion cart. You need a shirt. Jim Rock. 30 Rock. It's really dark in here, so hopefully this is picking up. No. 50% off all clothing is going to be good. It's the fit. Let's look at short. Columbia. Yes, please. And thanks. $5, pay $2.50. I get $16 out of them. Not bad. Pretty good payer. So with the summer sale being one dollar, yeah. uh, is that shorts also? Cause shorts, cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Say that again. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Columbia again. Vintage. Pretty nice. I'll take them for a dollar. Super clean. Super clean again. Super clean again. What are these? Vans. Skate highs. $17. We might average down on some stuff today. These right here, $17. Might pick up those and average down. Not sure yet. Depends on what we find today. There's a lot to go through. There's one pair of pants down here that I saw. What are these? Ooh, look at that. I almost missed these. Carhartt? How much are these? $8, half off. Flannel lined. Sweet. Does the half off apply to normal clothes? Not the dollar clothes, but the Friday half off? Okay. I, but the dollar clothes are separate than that. Got it. Got it. I have to go through all of these t-shirts and all of these ladies' jeans. Let's go through the ladies' jeans. Yikes. Let's go take a spin through the store and see what's here. So I'm seeing a ton of stuff that was here the last time I was here. A ton. So they're not selling through very quickly. Um, and honestly, it's because of the prices. Some of these prices are super high. Here's an example. Check this out. 
That's eBay prices right there. Seven dollars for this one. Twenty-five dollars, and handle needs to be rewrapped. That's eBay prices. Probably higher than eBay prices. This one, no price on it. I do like how they have this set up. So all of these bookshelves are like a makeshift wall, but then they have a huge warehouse room in the back, which is pretty sweet. Finished in the thrift, locked in three bags, paid 60 bucks. Super huge sale today, $1 on all summer clothing. Uh, that is anything short sleeve, anything shorts, anything swimwear. Uh, had 16 pieces of those, and then everything else was 50% off. Let's get home and I'll show you what we got. Hey guys, what's up? We're back home at the home office and uh, because it's so hot here in my office shed, I'm gonna be doing the recap out here outside. I have an air conditioner in my office, but it's super loud and if I turn that off, I will literally almost die, more than likely. And so we're gonna go over this stuff out here very quickly. We've got a lot to cover. I'm not gonna take up very much of your time. Let's get into it. So to recap the numbers, we bought 25 items for $62.88 out the door. That's after tax and everything. So $62.88 divided by 25 items is $2.51 cents, which I think is a real good bargain. I went to the store on a hunch. I did not know what to expect. And so I just kind of stopped by feeling like it would be a good thing to do and it paid off. Uh, we got one item that we'll save for the very end, and that particular item will cover the majority of the purchase cost, if not the entire thing, uh, simply because it is a dynamite item that uh, is gonna bring in some money. So with that being said, let's jump into this. I'm gonna be very quick here. Vintage Eddie Bauer seersucker button-down striped shirt, a vintage Quicksilver plaid button-down shirt, all short sleeve, and then a vintage Levi's silver label striped button-down shirt. Uh, these all three were going for like the 15 to $20 range on eBay. We got this, you saw this from, I think the first clip is where we showed this. Um, it is a Hobie shirt, uh, single stitch, vintage, really nice, made in the USA. Uh, it is extra large. Unfortunately, there's some cracking in the graphic, but we'll make that known to the buyer. Uh, not really sure how much we'll get for that. It might be 15 bucks, but we only paid 251 averaged out for all this stuff. Got a pair of Columbia swim trunks. This is an easy 16 bucks. Those will sell within the next week or so. Uh, another pair of Columbia shorts. These are not swim shorts, but they are fishing shorts. And so these will sell very quickly, especially through the fall while it's still warm into the fall. Those will do really nicely. We got a vintage pair of on the brink. I couldn't find any on the brink shorts. Uh, comps, but we got these. Uh, they were a dollar. Obviously, we averaged up for them, but there were some on the brink jeans that were selling for the $25 to $30 range. So we'll probably price right in there, maybe a little bit less to lock in the sale. We got this pair of the North Face fishing shorts or hiking shorts. They're cargo shorts. They're really nice. Um, they're ripstop material. Pretty sure we're gonna get 20 bucks for those easily. And here's the great thing, guys. This store was doing their sale, a dollar for all their summertime clothing, but summer's not over yet. We still have another month before summer is over. And then a lot of places in the South are gonna continue having warm weather all the way into November. Don't discount or shy away from summertime clothing just yet. There's still some money to be made. Uh, we got this pair of vintage Nautica swim trunks. It's got the spell out on the side right there. Really excited about those. Uh, that'll bring in a cool 16 to 20 bucks. We got a pair of rip curl uh, plaid shorts. Uh, I feel something in the pocket here. Let's see what it is. Uh, okay, so this is a, a surf tool. That's gonna be a, be a nice little thing to sweeten the deal with for our buyer. Pretty cool. It's always fun to find things in the pockets. We got another shirt here. This is a Vans off the wall. I think this is vintage, but this is a Vans for Joel Tudor. Uh, off the wall shirt and so these were selling for $25. We've got a Nike golf polo shirt. It's the only insignia it's got for Nike is on the sleeve here, but it is uh, genuine Nike. It is the Nike fit dry. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the Nike swoosh on the chest. That would have been premium. That would have been optimal, but you know, you can't always have your cake and eat it too. Here we go with a pair of Billabong shorts, kind of a sunset look here. And it feels like there is a surf tool in this pocket as well. Let's see. And yes, another surf tool in the pocket. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm really happy that these are coming with the surf tool. Nice. 
a good little pair, especially having paid just a couple dollars averaged out. You know, that's gonna get 16, 17 bucks for them, no problem. And we're gonna, we're gonna multiply our money easy. Uh, a pair of Polo Sport Ralph Lauren shorts, vintage, really nice condition. Um, the waist feels like the elastic is pretty much gone, but it does have a drawstring. So we will make that, uh, we'll annotate that and make it known to the buyer and get those sold. I did take a gamble on this brand. It's called Burnside. I couldn't find any Burnside board shorts. Uh, however, I did find Burnside shorts, like regular shorts and shirts. So uh, there were some comps for that brand. We took a gamble there, but I think it'll pay off. Right here, a pair of Budweiser PacSun collaboration shorts. They're simply gray, but it's got the Budweiser logo on there. Really excited about that. Uh, these board shorts will definitely go for the $20 range, no doubt about it. I think that is it for the uh, summertime swimwear, that stuff. Now we're gonna move into the regularly priced clothing, remembering that we averaged out all this stuff and so we got a really crucial deal on all of this stuff. I can't believe that we lucked out like this. First thing we've got here is a women's The North Face nylon and fleece uh, vest. So we did get stuff for summertime and we might hold some of that stuff until next year as well. May not all sell between now and next summer. Uh, but we've got some winter wear as well. So we got this, uh, the North Face. They wanted $15 for it regularly, but because we averaged down, we paid only $2.51 for it. Sold comps for these were going for $25 to $35. Uh, I'm gonna go for the $35 and I will hold fast until I get that money. Next, we've got this long sleeve Vans t-shirt. These are going for about $20 uh, right in that area. We've got a few of those types of t-shirts coming up here. We've got this Nike Sphere Dry long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, really good condition. There is a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of that tag right there that's sort of rubbing off. It is a looks like a screen printed tag on that. It is rubbing off just a little bit, but it's got the uh, embroidered Nike logo on the chest. Excited about that. Then we have another long sleeve fishing shirt T-shirt by Columbia right there. These are going for sixteen to twenty dollars. We've got another the North Face. I can't believe it. They wanted sixteen ninety six for this, and. This is a youth or junior extra large. Um, so definitely going to list this as a ladies. And it's the same kind of thing, nylon and then the fleece. Uh, really great condition. I'm gonna go through all the pockets on every single thing to make sure we don't leave any money uh, in the pockets there. Almost missed out on this pair while I was sorting through. I wasn't really paying attention to the jeans so much. However, we found an absolute winner. A pair of Carhartts right here with the blanket lining, that flannel blanket lining, excellent condition, really great. The only issue with them that I saw so far is that they're a little bit dirty. They have some like mud right around here on the uh, on the ankles. That's not a big deal at all. We will throw these in the washer, get them clean to ensure that they are optimal selling condition. All right, we only have a few more items to go. We've got this Tall Woods Element Wear uh, fishing shirt. I think it's a fishing shirt. It feels kind of thick to be a summertime fishing shirt. So we're gonna say fall or winter fishing shirt. Um, it is really nice. They wanted $6 for it. We got it for $2.51 because that's how we do things. Always hitting the sales, always maximizing our money. Uh, long sleeve fishing shirt, really great. Comps for those were $25. We've got this Quicksilver uh, sweatshirt. A really nice design on it. It's uh, kind of a gray and olive gray with a faded black stripe. Quicksilver extra large. Really awesome. It's not very often that you find sweatshirts that have the outside chest pocket on there. So something unique that we can entice our buyers with. And then finally, the last item of the day. Uh, I always love finding this particular item. I don't find them very often because they are high priced. However, we found a US Navy NWU, which is Navy working uniform, camouflage parka. This is the parka, the rain jacket. These normally are about $120 brand new from uh, the Navy Exchange. It's got the uh, Gore-Tex in there. You can see that tag right there. It's a large regular, which is an excellent size to find. This is perfect. They wanted $15 for it. We got it for $251. The resale on these is between $50 and $60 right now. That will go up during the winter time as sailors are trying to replenish their sea bags or people want to buy a really good waterproof rain jacket. Super pumped with this entire, uh, this entire haul today. Going to go in there, get them hung up, get them photographed, get them labeled, get them listed, and get them sold. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and I will see you on the next video.